Good morning. No, it's afternoon. We fed the cows this morning. And now we're gonna start setting everything up. We have, we got uh, pens to set up, drinkers to set up, and we gotta go to the cows and we gotta set things up over there to, so that we can start weaning calves, heifers, 4-H animals, all that kind of stuff. It's gotta happen on Friday. So, gotta set that up. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm bringing two extra panels. I got my scale. We want to weigh the calves as they uh, as we're picking which 4-H uh, animals and which heifers we're keeping. I'd like to weigh them, see what they are when we wean them. It's always good information to have. And so we're gonna bring that out there. I gotta come back and grab the squeeze yet. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head out with this for now and see what we can get together. Okay, I had uh, I had dropped off all of our panels that we used to bring our cows to this pen. I dropped them off here. So now I've just gotta set this up in such a way that we can bring the animals in, feed them, and they can get used to it. And then we can sort them out from cows to cows. So now the project is to take those panels, make some pens so we can do some sorting. set up here we're gonna uh, drive the feeder through here pull the calves into this cows and calves into this pen and then we'll lock up once they're all in we'll lock up those gates these windows are dirty and then uh, up here we'll sort them and some tire feeders I'm bringing back and the cows that we want out go through here and the ones that we want to go in 
uh, the calves were weaning and everything they'll go through this this gate swings both ways so around down the alley take them home one more job done hopefully it works smooth well hello there by the toque by the jacket you know that we're not in summer mode over here and uh, everything's taking a little longer so for the last couple days my job has been uh, trying to get our new water systems going here we added two and moved another one around and what should be a fairly simple straightforward job has not been such so I've got them all wired up now and plumbed up but the issue I'm having here now is that this this hose when I'm closing it is uh, is kinking right here and going so I'm gonna have to take it apart again and I'm trying to do this without stuff freezing up so this is lovely so I got uh, that's gonna be the job here now is just getting this rerouted in such a way that we don't get any more kinks in here So I'm trying to figure out which angle is going to be best, whether I need to go have this running like 190 degrees or 180 degrees I should say or 90 degrees from my input line there or how I'm going to do this because the other thing is it cannot do this wire when it comes or hose when it comes down can't touch this element because this element gets very hot does that so that it doesn't the water in here doesn't freeze and when it's up like this it's fine but as it comes down it changes shape and it's because it's more spaced and uh have any issues so i'm gonna have to probably try a few different things here okay so we got it rerouted i ended up going with the bigger t i like that better less chance of it freezing i'm hoping and it seems to now when it comes down it goes that way and it will not kink it's also staying away from the element so i think we're good now we're going to try to turn the water on make sure we're not leaking anywhere and then all three waters would be going so we'll go turn the water on see what happens here okay we're trying to get a little wiser here rather uh, than just tired so i got parker going to turn the water on for me and uh you want me to turn it on now yeah turn it on right now parker He's gonna turn the water on and uh, hopefully that saves me walking back and forth. And if I have issues, then uh, I can just phone him and get him to turn it off. So hopefully this time we got it. What I haven't shown you is this is not the first time. This is like trial three or four to get uh, this all going. I've actually had the two inch line blow right off because I didn't tighten it enough. Then we had it all freeze up because electrical wasn't working. It's just fun. The reality is if we would have done this in September when it was not frozen, it would have been better, but combining kind of got in the way of that. So that's where it's at. But meanwhile, by the time I get here, hopefully the water's flowing. But we'll find out. I'm not hearing it yet. So that's, oh, we have water coming. Look at this, folks. Look at this. We got water. So now the key's gonna be, see where it stops. We want it to stop about where my finger is. If it gets too high, it'll run over. If it's too low, it'll actually free, it'll freeze because the cold air gets in there and uh, keeps it from, or the cold air gets in there and freezes up the little, little uh, uh, valves. So. 
I'm liking where we are. I could possibly open it a little bit more, but for trial number one, that is gonna be perfect. So we are going to, what I'm going to do though quickly is make sure we're not leaking inside at all. All right, Tony. Oh crap, we do have a pinhole there. You can see here, we get to do this all again. There's we have a pinhole right through my fingers. So, what's one more time? So I think we're gonna try one more time. Hopefully this is the charmer. Actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the valve off this time first. And I'm not dumping water all over. Because the rest of it seemed to be working fine. And assuming that it works, then we're gonna come back and do it again. So the water that I have been working with and been having the trouble with here, it's the, it's gonna kind of be our backup one for the cows, but its main purpose is gonna be right in this area here. Water is right there. This area in here is where the uh, four eight steers are gonna go. So hopefully tomorrow we get them home and then in a few days we'll bring them into here. We'll have this all fenced off and we'll be good to go. But uh, for now, I think we're looking promising-ish. We do have, I think we're good. So I might just have to tighten that one a bit more. We should be good. So, and then I'm gonna turn this back on. And you hear that running and we're recording over there. It's gonna go like that. Then I gotta go and turn my Hydro on for this one once there's water in there. The other thing we do have is I'll show you, I'll go for a little bit of a walk here. So you can see two tractors driving back and forth here. Kendall's in one, Peter's in the other. We're just setting up a bit of a windbreak here with straw bales. Just to, when we get them south winds, it'll help protect them a little bit. So that's always been a bit of our, one of our things that's always been a bit of a problem here. So we're gonna try that. And uh, now that I walked over here, you'll see this one here. This is where we had a water last year. We just got a bigger one. And here with the way the wind is, it appears that as good as it was working yesterday, it appears that we may have to do some slight adjustments later on today but I think for the most part that one's good yeah I'll have to adjust there so that's number two here is working all is good and then in here you're gonna see the wind break right there that is the area our replacement calves are going heifers they're gonna be coming in here tomorrow, so. 
as you can see our maternity pen is still here so got close to the barn but we're not in the barn yet but all projects to come no shortage of work yet okay so the third one this actually is the drinker that was in by the barn and we're looking good water's there lights off so that means thermostat's telling us it's probably warm enough Ooh, which is good it's golden so i think after three days of working at three waters now i have a few other things going on but three days of working on these things i think i just got to tighten that one up and we should be good to go so here's the hoping We've got it done. Waters are golden. Okay, I got this windbreak. I'm gonna back into place here. And this is the pen that we're gonna put all of our heifers, our replacement heifers. Just gonna put up a windbreak so they're protected from the south. And it's time to move some bales around. So Daryl's got that drinker. Daryl's got the drinker going. We got a creep feed here with some oats in it. Then we got a feeder over there that we'll put our silage and alfalfa and oat straw. And then we got another feeder, a bale feeder over there that we'll have other, or we can have other stuff in. And hopefully uh, uh, just different options that we can do things with. So yeah, not a big pen, but we will have uh, roughly 25 Heifers in here, so it should be good enough for them for a while at least. So, yeah, Peter's got everything else leveled off out there where the cows are. We're gonna put a row of bales at the far end. We're gonna put a row of bales as windbreaks. Uh, try a few different things this year to help. Uh, we're gonna try a few different things this year to try out uh, helping with the pens and keeping calves in. We didn't like it last year that the calves were getting out all the time, so. Hopefully we can we're, we have some plans of what we're gonna do there. Hopefully that helps. So we'll keep plugging away at that. <laughs> 